Welcome into the arena with Jacob. This will likely be the last video I do with him. Pretty sure he's going to go home into this week. And uh, I think that his owner, Yvonne, is going to be able to get along with him okay when she gets him home. If not, she can bring him back to me in the spring if she needs to. But you know what? This horse didn't need a horse trainer. He just needed a psychiatrist. <laughs> I told you all along that I thought he would ride out fine once we got him to riding him because he's been ridden a fair amount. And uh, he does. He rides out fine. However, he's still not okay with a lot of stuff. Okay? So we've had him out here in the arena and uh, just been lunging him around for about 10 or 15 minutes. So he's warmed up. So I'm just going to check him before I get on him. Make sure he's okay with everything. I've only ridden him in this arena one other day. Uh, mostly I've been riding him in the around pen and he didn't seem too concerned about it when I did it the other day. Uh, and I've got some Cavaletti jumps and barrels and different things that'll kind of keep his attention if I need to do that. A lot of times you can use those kind of things to keep your horse occupied and not have all of his attention on something that, that he's concerned about. And so we've been sending him over these jumps. So I'm going to do it one more time. Yeah, so you can see he's not really concerned about that. Okay. All right. And this horse is really smart, really smart, um, which can work for you or against you. Uh, horses that are really smart learn really fast, but they learn bad things just as quickly as they learn good things. So real smart horses are the ones that can develop bad habits real quickly. Um, an average horse, you'll have to do something two or three times or let them get away with something two or three times to develop a bad habit. With a real smart horse, just once might be enough. Okay. Um, Okay, so he's pretty, pretty tense there. Okay, let me get his feet moving a little bit. And the addition in the, in the arena here is I have the dog. I don't let the dog in the round pen. Um, so there's that additional little nervous thing. And sometimes I'll make the dog leave. Depends on what he's doing. But as I said before, the horses need to be they need to be okay with dogs. It's part of life. Okay, there he's licking and chewing and dropping his head and blowing out. Okay, so he kind of relaxed a little bit. Good boy. So he's learning to relax. And I've had a lot of interest in this series just because I think so many people have horses like this that you can ride them, but they're just not okay with people and movement and life in general. Um, and so I hope you understand what I've done, which is pressure him, let him relax, and then start over. I pressure him, get him kind of halfway okay with the pressure, let him see he's going to survive it, then let him relax, lick his lips, and start over. And I've done that hundreds of times. And I did it just then, you know, to a lesser degree. Okay. And he's to the point now where he's pretty, pretty calm when, with me at a walk. When I put him into a trot, he stiffens up and gets a little tense. And I haven't loped this horse because um, I don't want to lope him until he's relaxed at a trot. And he'll occasionally relax with me at a trot. He'll relax for a few steps and then he'll tense up again. And I can feel that between my legs and under my seat. I can feel his body. He's pretty relaxed right now. Okay. But let's just see what happens when I ask him to trot here. Okay, so his head came up about six inches, but it's not bad actually. He's fairly relaxed there. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so he didn't respond to me asking him to stop. It's all right. I can ride this a long time. There. Okay. See his head came up. 
We're just going to let him relax a minute. I've done this in the round pen a lot. I'll just trot him around, sometimes five or ten minutes, sometimes just a minute, and then stop and let him relax. Let him realize it's okay, okay? Um, this horse is going to be okay, but he's not the kind of horse that you can push him hard. He's not the kind of horse that you can thump on him and push him through things, okay? Uh, there are some horses like that, especially the ones that are kind of alpha horses and a little bit more stubborn, uh, maybe a little bit more spoiled. Those kind of horses, you got to push them through and thump on them a bit. This horse knew, not at all. If you do that to him, it's going to scare him. And I think that maybe has been done with him. It's going to scare him. Let me ask him to walk to the right. It's going to scare him and he'll... Uh, he'll lose his confidence so what i've told his owner is this horse just needs lots of time okay he needs lots of time and if she t if she'll take him home and just walk him around like this for two or three weeks that wouldn't hurt him a bit okay until he's just about half asleep with her walking and sitting like this and then trot him for two or three weeks you know and increase it every day Okay, so I'm going to ask him to trot now to the right. Right there. Boy. Good boy. So one of the reasons that she brought this horse to me was he had a history of bolting and some with rearing. Uh, he hasn't shown me any of that. It doesn't mean he'll never do it again, but he hasn't shown me any inclination to do that because I haven't scared him that much. <laughs> okay, that's horse, horses. Bolting is just basically the same thing as rearing. It's a response to too much pressure. They don't know what to do. Rearing generally is the same thing, but it's a response trying to get away from pressure of the bit and not feeling confident to go forward or back up or whatever the the rider's asking the horse to do so i'd go ahead and walk him over that jump yvonne just see what he does if you think he might hop over it you can grab a handful of mane i kind of doubt that he will He'll probably just walk over it like he did a minute ago. Good. So see how that kind of gives him something to think about besides you? So make, yeah, just kind of make it up, make you a figure eight around the barrel, go over the jump and just, just kind of try to keep his mind occupied. Beautiful. I love the expression on his face right now. There. See, he's handling that quite well. Good. I love you rubbing on him, too. Good job. So he looks pretty good to me. Why don't you just ask him to trot around that barrel? You've got your circle going. Just try to ease him into a trot there and see what he does. And just trot that thing. See, he got a little anxious. Rub on him with your right arm there. Just trot it until you feel him kind of relax a little bit. Okay, if you have to go five or 10 times around so you just feel him right there. He kind of relaxed a little bit, so let him walk. <laughs> let out your breath. See if you can slow him down without pulling. So he's not slowing down off your body. There he did, almost. Then just bend him a little bit. 
bend him down to a walk. Now rub on him, let him walk out. Good. Okay. He handled that quite well. So, you know, he didn't slow down off your seat because he doesn't quite understand it and he was a little bit anxious. He'll get better the more you ride him, the more you do those walk, trot, walk, trot, walk, trot transitions. He'll get better every time.